Post-COVID flu syndromes, let TCM help you. I'm Dr. Clement Ng. We are here to discuss about these symptoms, chronic fatigue, short of breath, weak limbs, the TCM options. I'm going to discuss about COVID, flu, cough, fatigue, and all these are part of the package that we come across when someone is experiencing a uh, COVID during and after. And what's more important now, we have to look into other after effect. And this after effect can be something that be with you if you don't take care of it. And I explain to you why in short while. I'm Dr. Clement Ng. I'm a TCM practitioner from Singapore. I have a doctorate in Chinese medicine from Nanjing University of uh, Chinese Medicine. My PhD research is in the area of diabetics. And currently, I'm the president of Singapore Acupuncture Association, as well as the chairman for the technical committee for complementary medicine and health product in Singapore. And I'm representing Singapore in the ISO standard committee for TCM, known as TC249. The cost objective. Why this course? This course will let participants know how to take care of themselves, their loved one, post flu, COVID, and cough, and the etiology and pathogenesis of the symptoms from modern medicine and Chinese medicine perspective. I'll be sharing the different approaches such as acupressure massage techniques, the application of medical diet in addressing the symptom during the rehabilitation will be presented. And I'll also be discussing something about dynamic breath. How we can go through simple inhaling, exhaling process, taking care of ourselves and revitalizing our qi vitality in the body. The learning outcome for this course, you will learn the following and update on the COVID-19 situation. I'll give you a short update. The difference between common cold, flu and COVID-19. I'll discuss about the treatment option in modern medicines when they come across this particular illnesses. And the post-flu COVID-19 syndromes. What are they? Why are they significant? The TCM management options in post-COVID-19 syndromes, such as the use of acupressure, medicated diet, dynamic breath. So this is what we're covering.